Two new super-Earth-type planets have reportedly been found by an international team of researchers, one of which may be habitable. The almost 1,600 known super-Earths are larger than Earth, but lighter than frigid planets like Uranus and Neptune, unlike any other planets in our solar system. Welcome back everyone, in today's video we'll be talking about the new planets. About 100 light years from Earth, astronomers have observed a pair of exoplanets and they believe one of them is a strong contender for harboring life. Planet LP-899b, nearly 30% larger than Earth and orbits its sun in just 2.7 days, was discovered by NASA's satellite. U Liège researchers utilized high-precision cameras to take a closer look at the planet using their Speculus, search for livable planets eclipsing ultra cool stars, telescopes in Chile and Spain. At that time, astronomers found LP-899c, now known as Speculus 2c by U Liège researchers, which is 40% larger than Earth and has an 8.5-day orbit around the Sun. Amori Trio, who studies exoplanets at the University of Birmingham in the United Kingdom and is a member of the team that discovered the finding, tells new scientist Alex Wilkins that the outer planet lies near the inner border of what is known as the habitable zone, similar to how Earth is. Liquid water can exist on the surface of a planet in a star's habitable zone. This exoplanet, according to Trio, is the second best prospect for hosting life out of all those detected in the habitable zones thus far. According to a press statement, the potential planet is about 40% bigger than Earth and revolves around its star roughly every 8.5 days. According to Laetitia Del Rey, an astronomer at the University of Liège in Belgium and the paper's lead author, we predict the planet to be rocky based on its size. We have not yet discovered rocky exoplanets as small as 1.4 Earth radii. Del Rey tells Inverse that the planet is likely tidally locked to its star, which results in the fact that one side of the planet is always lit by day and the other by night. While Earth revolves 93 million miles from our Sun, it is only 3.7 million miles away, according to NPR's Dustin Jones, according to a press statement from Francisco J. Pozelos, a co-author of the study and a researcher at the Institute of Astrophysics in Andalusia in Spain, says the exoplanet may still have favorable circumstances for life despite its close closeness to the star it orbits. This is due to the Sun's 6.5 times smaller size and lower warmth than ours. However, several characteristics may be detrimental to the planet's potential habitability, according to Beth Bilner, an astronomer at the University of Edinburgh in the UK, who did not participate in the research. It is larger than Earth, and it may be receiving a high level of radiation from orbiting close to its star, which is both arguments against it harboring life. The researchers found the exoplanet using telescopes from the Speculus project which stands for the search for livable planets eclipsing ultra-cool stars. According to the inverse, they first viewed this far-off solar system. They verified the presence of another planet there, which had previously been discovered by NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey, or TESS. They discovered the second, more promising planet by continuing to look after the first one, which was too close to its star to support life. TESS measures the brightness of stars to find planets. According to NPR, TESS can detect the brightness diminishing when a planet passes in front of a star and a satellite. The discovery is followed up by the ground-based Speculus telescopes, which have a higher sensitivity to infrared light. According to Robert Lee of Space.com, cool stars like the one the newly discovered planets orbit radiate primarily infrared light, necessitating a second look. The researchers will then use the James Webb Space Telescope to determine the composition of the planet's atmosphere, if any. According to Inverse, Webb could help scientists understand the exoplanet's potential for supporting life. Scientists have discovered a planet the size of Earth named TOI-700e that is circling within its star's habitable zone, or the range of distances where liquid water might exist on a planet's surface. This planet was discovered using data from NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey satellite. It is 95% as big as Earth and probably made of rock. The T01700 B, C, and D planets were the first three planets in the system to be found by astronomers. The habitable zone is where planet D also revolves, however it took researchers another year of test observations to find T01700 E. 
The study's lead author, Emily Gilbert, a postdoctoral fellow at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California, noted that this is one of the few available systems containing several small livable planets. As a result, the TOI-700 systems represent a promising opportunity for further investigation. The system also demonstrates how traditional TESS observations help us uncover ever smaller worlds because Planet E is around 10% smaller than Planet D. At the 241st meeting of the American Astronomical Society in Seattle, Gilbert delivered the findings on behalf of her team. The Astrophysical Journal Letters approved an article on the recently discovered planet. A tiny cool M-dwarf star called TOI-700 can be found in the southern constellation Dorado, at a distance of about 100 light-years. Gilbert and other announced the finding of three planets in 2020, including the Earth-sized habitable zone planet D, which is in a 37-day orbit. The innermost planet TOI-700b orbits the star every 10 days, and is nearly 90% the size of Earth. The orbit of TOI-700c, which is more than 2.5 times larger than Earth, lasts 16 days. The planets are likely tidally locked, meaning they rotate once per circle so that one side always faces the star, just as the moon always faces Earth from one side of its orbit. TESS observes broad areas of the sky known as sectors for around 27 days. These prolonged gazes enable the satellite to monitor variations in stellar brightness, brought on by an event known as a transit, in which a planet appears to pass in front of its star from our perspective. Starting in 2018, the expedition followed this plan to investigate the southern sky before moving on to the northern sky. It went back to the southern sky in 2020 to make more measurements. The researchers improved the first planet sizes, around 10% smaller than earlier estimations, because of the additional year of data. If the star was a little closer or the planet a little bigger, we might have been able to spot TOI-700e in the first year of test data said Ben Hoard, a graduate researcher at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland, and a doctoral candidate at the University of Maryland, College Park. However, the signal was so weak that we required an extra year of transit observations to locate it. Planet E is situated in the so-called optimistic habitable zone between planets C and D on TOI-700e, which may also be tidally locked. The range of distances from a star where liquid surface water may have existed at some point in a planet's history is what scientists refer to as the optimistic habitable zone. To either side of the conservative habitable zone where scientists believe liquid water might last for most of the planet's lifetime lies this region. This area is where TOI-700d orbits. Planetary scientists can learn more about our solar system's past by discovering other systems in this region that have Earth-sized worlds. According to Gilbert, further research into the TOI-700 system using both grounds and space-based observations is ongoing and could provide new information about this unique system. That's all for this video. We'll be back soon with another informative video. Don't forget to like and share this video. Until next time.